What's up everyone? Today we are shooting the Mesa dual rectifier multi-watt I'm shooting this amp today because I just sold it so I really need to do a video for it before it goes so here we are we're gonna go through the three channel the clean and the two overdrive uh, the orange and the red one we're gonna try them in the different modes we'll see if we go to the back panel as well and change some of the rectifying settings as well but for now we have it in diode mode uh, I personally don't like or don't use at all the, the tube rectifying system but let's see how this sounds let's start from the clean channel all, all the effects go through the effects loop this one has the series effects loop which makes it better and we are playing with the LTD Eclipse Black Metal with the Black and Black Winter just in the bridge. Okay, this is the clean channel. Currently, everything is at noon except for the presence. Presence is just a bit low. Uh, so I'm just going to put it at noon as well with the other ones and I'm just gonna increase the gain a tad bit without breaking it so it's in the 100 watt mode let's see how this sound just everything at noon Let's just add a little bit more of treble. Just, uh, I'm just gonna decrease the mids a little bit. Just gonna add a tad of presence. There, I like it a bit more. Funny thing with the with this amp is that the EQ, if you change the settings they will affect like mids will affect treble and bass and treble will affect mids and bass will affect mids as well as well mids will, will just uh, mess up everything so you have to be very set so when you are uh, moving around uh, you start moving it a little bit then you check that the sound is what you are actually looking for Let's see how it takes the chorus. And now let's go with the reverb. It definitely sounds beautiful just in the way it is. You better not mess too much with the with the EQ then if you already like it. So just leave it there. And let's move it to the pushed option. more like 
like that kind of low gainy uh, rock and roll style. I don't play much in 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 that type of sound at all. So uh, that is all you get from me for for that for that mode. Maybe let's just put the overdrive and see how it goes. That's as much as you get from that. Okay. Let's uh, move on to channel two, the orange channel. Uh, everything again, it's at noon. Master is around 11 and I'm cranking everything up a lot here. I really want to get that good sound from the dual rectifier. So I have it currently in modern mode, 100 watts. Gain is just at 2 o'clock and all the other ones are noon. Presence is at noon now. That is without overdrive. Let's keep in mind this amp has the bias mode so I can put any type of um, tubes instead of uh, just putting the ones from Mesa. I did that just because I, I wanted to try some soft tech tubes which is what it currently has. It has 606s six so let's see how it sounds. It, it actually sounds very decent if I compare to the previous dual rectifier that I had. So. Sounds like that. to the power tubes and it's gonna make it sound less saturated and obviously the volume drops as well let's put the overdrive just while we are in raw and vintage modern it still needs it, but it sounds more decent. Vintage. All right. Now roll without the overdrive before. And then vintage. Vintage actually sounds good without the overdrive. 
it's not that flabby as raw was. It's loosened. It's not super tight. It's loosened, but it doesn't sound bad. Now with the overdrive. That fattens everything up. Keep in mind we are just at noon, so I'm just gonna uh, go back to modern and then push that treble a little bit. Volume, volume definitely goes up. presence it was very brutal treble is not even at one o'clock and presence was definitely too high according to Fluff I remember reading in one of the of the forums Fluff said that the sweet spot for the for the dual rectifier in the presence is around uh, nine o'clock so that's where I just put it on Definitely sounds good. Sounds definitely really, really good. Okay, now I'm just gonna push the mids a tiny bit up. I'm just gonna leave the bass there because it's already way too big. the orange channel let's move to the red channel we're gonna do the same thing without the boost see how it sounds everything is at noon gain is just touching the 1 p.m. I don't like to push the gain too much in the red channel it definitely loses everything when you pass two o'clock, I think that it goes just messy. The sound just goes super messy. So instead of pushing it uh, with the gain knob, I'm just gonna put the overdrive and it's gonna sound really, really good. Can you hear that solid sound of the amp? as with the orange channel we lose all the volume the volume def definitely drops a lot all right i think it will benefit a little bit 
from gain in there, so we're at three o'clock. I actually like it like that. It sounds punchy, very punchy. you will have to push the master in order to get to the same point. Let's move to the vintage channel. I'm gonna back off the gain again. At two o'clock. This amp has definitely a huge palette of sounds for you to play with that just those three different modes for each channel and the, the two modes for the clean channel it makes this amp totally work but you have to to use it I, I, most people that I know that has the dual rectifier that I know uh, they only use the motor and they think that that's the ultimate tone out of it but if you go through the raw and vintage options in this amp it's definitely amazing that song in playing good is there okay all right let's go to modern and the volume is gonna go up again Uh, we go with travel around 2 p.m. and meets around 1. That's how I normally use it. I'm gonna decrease presence for it not to be too brutal. So there it is, that's the Mesa Dual Rectifier. Definitely have many different sounds. You can change from bold to spongy, and you can use the um, diodes for the silicon diodes for the rectification, or you can use the, the rectifier tubes as well. So there are infinite more options there for, for this amp. It's definitely worth it, have it having it. I hope you enjoyed today this video and just leave a comment, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Cheers, bye!